Jackson also in a man-to-man -man defense. Finney launches one. He got it. Very important for Old Dominion to get Finney. Gray Smith, he's had some great games against the Monarchs over the years. Almost threw it away. In fact, it does wind up in the hands of Old Dominion. Neely. Monarchs two for two from the field. They lead it 5-2. So far, he'll be using the first steps in college basketball. Now Lee on the attack. Takes it to the other side. Pretty move for the big guy. And John, I, I don't know if I've seen a guy first misfire of the night. Now Darius James, the sophomore, all the way to the hole. Comes to Neely. Neely has time to spot up and knock down another one. Monarch remained perfect. Five for five from the field. Up down in terms of season, but this is a lot of teams. They played an awful lot of games. ODU, five for five so far. Darius, Darius James has been particularly hot for five points. There's James with another deep shot. Oh, the Patriots. Adams, tough shot. Got it. ODU has had no trouble so far against George Mason. Trying to set Iliadis for a three. Got a good look at it. And the Lansing, not much of a threat to shoot from out there, but Ben Finney is. And he gets his second of the night. Nice little set play off of the downstream. Penny. Carter did a good job of stepping out, preventing that play on defense. And now Neely. Marshall Ray Neely, junior from Greensboro, North Carolina, with a steal and the score on the Monarchs. For the redshirt senior, Daryl Monroe, from right here in Virginia Beach, Virginia, has been Finney on the attack, and he got the roll. Finney's been very effective so far. Mason's got to be conscious of it. Darius James leaves it for Lee. Off the glass and in. Nice little play. I didn't hear him call glass on that play, John. Smith has two threes tonight. Ten points in the game as Jonathan Adams steps inside the arc and bangs in the jumper. Really nice pump fake. You, can you just play straight up and leave that guy open on the baseline, which is what just happened at the other end. That's how Carter got it. Neely. Yes. Tough shot by Neely. I thought Mason played good defense. It's a good thing. Mason will go inside. ODU will go inside. But they both with the two threes, too. The scramble defense left Lee alone, and he made him pay for it. Nice pass by Finney. Pushes it for Old Dominion. In the lead, great feed from Neely. And Lee has nine. He leads the Monarch attack. And it forces Jim Laranega to take a 30. Neely threw him a really nice pass. Lee called for the ball. Lee is very talented offensively, and I think sometimes when you have really nice kids, sometimes they think it's selfish to call for doing that because you got to honor the three-point shot. Smith leads all scores tonight with 12. And now Gerald Lee has 11. But John, when do you see someone setting a ball? James to Lee. Good help by Pearson, but it didn't matter. Lee finished the play. Three and a half on the strength of 15 first half points from Gerald Lee. Now let's get to our Comcast Sportsnet studios in David Lee. Going very early. Uh, two games in a row. He's been very aggressive from the outset. Here he drove to the basket, switched hands with his left. Really nice pass right here to James for the three-point shot. ODU got points from a lot of different people here. A nice little defensive play by Neely. Neely finished it with his left hand for the layup. Here he got a three-point shot by Adam. A four-point possibility as Vaughn hit Neely right at the He can focus on that rim right there, and Vaughn got him down low when he ran past him. Really nice play by Neely, keeping his concentration there. Vaughn got him with the body. Now they try to go inside to Monroe. Good help side defense from Finney. Broke it up. Nice defense by ODU. Nice look. They just didn't convert on the ball. And Finney does it that in. Get it to go. Carter has the rebound. Good defense by Finney. Good hands. Contested the shot. Got a piece of the ball. They didn't, they didn't give him a second shot on that either. Gerald Lee with 17. James, the nice pass. Skilled big men here in Lee and Monroe. Both of them have a lot of offensive skill. And Ben Finney gets into the act as well. Again, saying it again for the first half. Carter can't leave him open because he'll knock it down like that. Almost a 40% three-point shooter. He's got it inside the arc. Misses it. Adams rebounds. Adams scores. 
ODU's taking a page out of George Mason's book right now. Turnover tonight for George Mason, which is good, but Old Dominion's only turned over. Hey. Mason back in that zone. You got to know where Lee is. They're going to call Lee for the offensive foul that time. A much better defensive job by Morrison. Very next possession, I really thought it was a good acting job by Morrison. I didn't think that was the charge. I thought you got to get Lee back to five. A double dribble against Cornelius. Hassell scores, and again, a big guy, Finney, on the nice pass. And you got a job of just come meet this basketball. He waited. Tate ended up fouling him, which probably was a smart. Very happy with how he played so far this season. James, too strong on the three. Finney with the rebound. Neely will try. Finney back in. What a move. I think Wayne talked so much about Up in Northeastern, whenever he suffered that concussion, is Lee off the inbound has his 20th and 21st point. A cell turn, shoots and scores as Pearson went down, but the referee didn't buy it. You hear Pearson right next to the basket. Now all Hassell has to do is turn and make the layup. The possession arrow favors George Mason right now. Big free throws. One, if you make one of two free throws right here, this game becomes a two. Vaughn on the attack, puts it up, missed it, rebound Finney. They've got to foul somebody quickly, and now Long does. Drove left. Good defense by Finney. Good rebound by anybody on the line. Which can permit George Mason to get the rebound. Big free throw for Neely. Big shot by Neely. Now, again, you're thinking if you're Mason, if he makes it, you need a three to tie. If he misses it, you only need a two to tie. You don't need a three if he misses it. You need a quick, good shot if he misses this, not necessarily a three. He missed it. Long for the tie. Off the front of the rim, and Old Dominion hangs on. George Mason did a good job this possession in the last of getting good shots. The ball just didn't drop. Give credit to ODU. ODU did a great job. Particularly Neely making that last free throw. Let's take a look at how good a look he got. Right at the free throw line, ball was just short. I thought they were going to call it good too if the ball went in. Oh yeah, I don't think there's any question that he got the shot off and just a little bit short. So Old Dominion hangs on to win. We'll take a timeout. Come back with more from Norfolk right after this timeout.